Hello, and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe, and if you have some comments of what you liked or what you would like me to cover, please add them in the comments. Today, I'm going to be going over using the SNMP feature in PHP IPAM, what we can use it for, and how to configure it. Regarding this feature, I'm going to create a basic understanding video, or this video, on the SNMP feature, and then a more advanced video later on covering advanced topics like multiple devices, multiple subnets, and more complex configurations, simply. I want to point out that this feature does not seem to fully work as of the publishing date on YouTube in version 1.6. I had to revert back to 1.5 for this demonstration. Before we begin, there are a few elements that we need to discuss that should have already been done or will be done based on my video here. At the very least, I'm assuming you installed SNMP or Net SNMP and have it working in your Rocky Linux server already. Then I'll go through in enabling the SNMP module, creating a section and a subnet to do our checks in, creating a device inside of PHP IPAM to run queries against an actual SNMP enabled device. And so I'm assuming you have an SNMP enabled device. And finally, uh, we need to do an actual discovery in the subnet for ARP and MAC. So let's begin. To enable the SNMP module in PHP IPAM, we go to administration, settings, or admin server settings here. And what we want to do is look for this SNMP feature, right, module, and enable it to on, and then hit save. And we'll just confirm it's on and running. Next, what we want to do is we want to go over here to sections. We want to add a new section. Now I could reuse one of these, but I want to create, I want to go through this as simply and concisely as possible. So add section. And then what I'm going to call this is SNMP demo. And then I'm going to, you know, name it that. And I'm going to keep all of these settings default. Now since I've created this section, I want to go to subnets and I want to go to SNMP demo and I want to add a subnet. Now I'm going to create a subnet to scan. This is where my switch is and I'm going to call it SNMP demo. In order to make SNMP work, it has to have a VLAN. So I need to add a VLAN, and we're going to call that oops, SNMP de demo. I don't need a description, but I can put it in. I don't. I'm not going to use a customer, and I'm going to hit add. But the number is very important. The number should correlate to your VLAN that you're going to be scanning with. Next, you want to use your check hosts and your discover new hosts. These aren't really required right now. And as you can see, I don't have a device, but we'll come back to this later. I'm going to click on these and set them to yes, and I'm going to hit add. Now that we have that, we have to go and set up the SNMP information. So to do this, we're going to want to go over here, and then we're going to want to go to device management. And we're going to want to click devices, and I'm going to want to add a device. So in my network here, I have a switch. We're going to call it switch. And my switch's IP address is actually that. <laughs> and I'm going to set a device type. Now, in other videos, I've discussed this. I'm going to leave this location and rack information as none. Um, and then you see here, this SNMP demo, that was the section I just created. This is where it gets into more advanced videos. 
but I want to maintain consistency. So I'm going to check SNMP demo and only this one and hit add. Now that I've created this switch, and I can add other devices, but we'll wait for a more advanced video. I want to go over here to where the gears are, and I want to go to the Manage SNMP. In here, I want to set my version of SNMP. So this must match what you have set your version of SNMP to on your device. And on my switch, this is a physical switch, I have this. Now, this is my SNMP community, TTGG, the tech guy's guide. <laughs> then the next piece is the queries. So I'm going to click all of these, and I'm actually going to run the test button. And this will tell me what I'm going to get back from this SNMP query. And see, it's going to query the system table, the ARP table, the MAC table, the interfaces, the routing, VLAN, and the VRF table. Now, if everything works, you should get all green. And I'm getting all of this information, but not the VRF. The reason I'm not getting the VRF is that one, that switch does not support VRF. And but I have another switch for another demo where I can demonstrate virtual routing and forwarding. But for right now, I don't need that. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to hit edit. Edit is to save. Now that I have that, you notice there's no objects in there. There's no other information. So if I go back over here and I go to subnet demo and I go back here to my subnet I created, and I go to the pencil, right? So we see that I'm in the subnet demo and I have a device and there's my switch that I just created. I don't care about the name servers or any of these items for right now. I'm gonna hit edit to save the switch into there. Now, the next piece is to scan the subnet for new hosts. To do that, you can see here I have SNMP nested. Um, this is a little bit more complicated, but for ARP and MAC, right? So I want to do an actual MAC address scan. And if I hit the scan subnet, lo and behold, there's all the devices in that subnet as that switch sees them. If I hit cancel and I go back to ARP and I hit the same thing, I actually get more devices. Now, not to get too much into networking, hopefully you know the difference and why it's doing that, but for right now, I'm gonna do the MAC address scan, I'm gonna hit scan subnet, and I'm gonna add all devices. You notice it's fully populated. Now that I've done that, you can see if I go over here, and I go to this, and it's going to say, oh, there's these. And if I can show you, it's actually going to be missing certain things, like 107, which is my switch. So if I go back here and I hit Add, you'll see that it's already in there. And the reason for this is it seems to be a small bug, but as you can see, if you go to the mass search, and then back to subnet details, it actually populates. It seems to be a delay. Um, it only happens when you do this the first time. Now, what is this getting me? So this test router or switch, the, it should really say test switch, you'll see that it's showing me the MAC address as well as the vendor. So it pulls the OID, as well as the, um, you know, for the vendor information, as well as the MAC address. If I click into this, um, you'll see that it's, you know, called switch, uh, that it's alive, and so on and so forth. Now, the next interesting piece that you should note is if I click switch, right, remember there was nothing really in here. It shows what subnet and it is tied to it that it belongs to, what addresses are tied to it. And if I go back here 
right? I can look at the SNMP and it, this is the device that we created. And the same thing back here, if I go to this, you'll see that all of these devices, right, have some sort of, you know, MAC address or vendor, wh whoever it is. Like, I think I have this, yeah, there's a Hewlett Packard in here. So I hope this made understanding and enabling the SNMP feature a little easier for you and what we can do with it in PHP IPAM. Finally, I wanted to thank you for watching my video and always please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Have a great day. Thank you.